Hey everybody, this is Lewis from Wubba Lubba Web Dev, and today it's going to be a short, sweet one, so let's go right to it. It's the copyright footer text. So this is my website, this is my, my company's website. Um, okay, so how to change this in salient, right? So we have the salient theme, how do we change in this? So the first thing you do is you go to salient, and you go to footer and then you go to footer copyright section right now so obviously pretty simple pretty simple I know um, a lot of times I disable a copyright um, I feel like this does give people trouble though so uh, I've seen this a lot and and uh, and I swear to God I see 2018 2017 2016 it's it's come on guys it's you know but hey it happens with everybody you know but um just it, you know if you just change that one number sometimes it, it makes your site look just that much better because it looks like it's up to date um and you can even disable a copyright you know right there um now if you're a web designer um you would have like an uh an at link right and sometimes like um and sometimes it's a little difficult because uh, you don't know what exactly to put there like because you may not know HTML. You just may know WordPress. So what I usually do um, Is or what what you can do um, I, I, I use the the HTML code But if you don't know the HTML code, it's pretty simple. You just go h ref um, HTML and this is basically how to create a link and 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 if you and this is a really great site. I mean, this is a classic site that you would use. And so you just take this. You can copy it, right? You would put it in here. So that way you can do like a designed by whoever. So you put designed by here, right? By web designer, whoever you are. Sorry, don't know how to spell. Uh, and then you do your website in here, right? And then it will auto-populate the um, the link for you uh, inside the footer. So that would be how you change it. That's why I'm assuming you may change it or to update things or just disable it altogether uh, over here. And there's also the, the disable automatic copyright because sometimes the automatic copyright is a bitch. Like sometimes you because you're going to have to go into sometimes you have to go into the PHP um, to actually change it or just the editor itself every single time. And that's really annoying. So I love that salient just gives you this disable right off the bat. And that's really cool. Um, and then you can just do the customized version of it here. I'm not going to say it because this is my live site, but this will give you that will give you an idea. So I hope this helps, and um, uh, you know this is Lewis from Mobile Love Web Dev, and uh, talk to you soon. Please like, subscribe, uh, comment, and let me know if you have any questions. If you were into any trouble, I'd love to help you. Um, yeah, so have a wonderful day. Thanks.